Welcome to this European SharePoint community video. My name is Neil Pittman and over the next few minutes we'll be taking a look at finding duplicate files in SharePoint. You can contact me by email at neil.pittman at aquaforest.com or check out my blog at aquaforest.com slash blog. Many organisations find that as the usage of SharePoint increases across their organization, so too does the instance of multiple documents that are identical uh, appearing at various places across their SharePoint document stores. So what we're going to look at today is really discussing what SharePoint features are built into the product that are there to actually help with managing duplicates um, and delve into a, a little bit of that in some detail in terms of defining what exactly is a duplicate in SharePoint and what are near duplicates. And then we're going to take a look at what the issues are with that, what problems SharePoint can solve out of the box and what perhaps may, may require some extra work. So first of all, we're just going to take a look at the out of the box features with regards to duplicate detection. So now we're going over to our um, SharePoint here and we're going to just run some queries on a, a, a tiny document library that's actually got four copies of the same document really just to illustrate how SharePoint behaves. Now by default it will not show you any of the duplicates and does not give you any way of seeing duplicates so we do actually have to go and edit um, the search results web part um, and specifically we actually need to go and check one of the settings the show view duplicates link and as we'll see in a minute this will enable a new option for us once we've saved this and gone back to run the search again so we'll rerun our search and again it gives us the same result but this time we've got a view duplicates option to see on the context menu and this option will then enable us to actually see that see the duplicate files which would enable the users to be able to actually manage and decide whether they perhaps do want to delete one of those files now we're going to delve in a little deeper to determine what exactly SharePoint considers to be a duplicate file. It's not as simple as being strictly identical. It's much closer to uh, something that Google or other search engines might do um, and is based upon the overall uh, frequency of the same information in a document. So to illustrate um, SharePoint duplicates in a bit more detail, we're going to look, create a few more documents here. I've got two documents here that are actually identical. I'm going to create another two documents that are very similar but not identical and I'm going to create a fifth document that actually comprises the content of the first two documents just copied um, a, a number of times. And what we're going to do is take these five documents, um, add them to um, a, a, an empty library and really we're going to then take a look at to see how SharePoint actually handles these particular files with regards to considering what is and isn't duplicate. So we're just going to pop those files over here into our new library. Once documents have uploaded, we do need SharePoint to then go and crawl the documents so we can show the search results. Um, and for purposes of demonstration, we'll actually force that so that we don't we don't have to wait around to see that. So here we're going over to um, the administrative side really just to go and actually force the, um, the crawl. This will only take a few seconds. And then we can go and take a look and see which of those documents 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 SharePoint actually considers to be duplicates. Okay, so that's done. So now we're ready to go back to um, search and we'll run our query. Let's just, just have a look to see what results we get. Now, if we look at the results, we'll see that the documents that were deemed to be duplicate were documents one and two, as we'd expect, but also document five, because it contained an awful lot of exact repeated content that was also deemed to be uh, a, a du duplicate as well. Whereas these subtly different um, contents of um, documents three and four were not deemed to be duplicate. So clearly the question is, well, what exactly is SharePoint doing underneath the covers to actually determine what, what, is, a, what is a duplicate or, or a near duplicate? And um, it has changed over 
different versions of SharePoint, but the, the current versions, uh, 2013 and uh, SharePoint Online Office 365, use a technique called shingling and multiple document signatures. So you can see from the example there that each document actually has a set of hashes or fingerprints, if you if you will. Um, and these are what SharePoint uses to compare to determine what is and isn't a duplicate. Clearly, if all the hashes are identical, then the, the documents are almost certainly identical. Um, but what we see here in a couple of examples is that the, um, if enough of the hashes uh, match, in this case three, um, SharePoint will consider them to be near duplicates and actually uh, handle them as such. If you're interested in the theory behind this, you may like to take a look at the, the link at the bottom of this slide. So SharePoint, I think, leaves us with a, a number of op open issues. Um, if you're perhaps an administrator looking to uh, reclaim some space, perhaps through looking at the, the duplicates, um, there isn't really a very easy way of actually searching for everything that's a duplicate. You'd actually have to run a whole series of individual searches. Um, and also the big question of duplicates versus near duplicates is actually quite important because it's sort of, in many cases becomes unclear whether it's reasonable to delete all but one of a set of duplicates as reported by SharePoint if they're not necessarily quite the same. And furthermore, there are some additional challenges with um, hybrid environments where you know the possibility of, of um, documents being duplicated both um, in the cloud and on, on premises. Now, there may be some tools out there that perhaps will uh, help uh, automate detection of, of duplicates, but it's also possible to perhaps look at building your own solution. Um, you can make use of the document signature that SharePoint actually uh, provides, and you, you do have access to that. Here, here on this slide is an example of a REST API call that would enable you to um, extract that information and perhaps build a solution around it. So to summarise, we've taken a look at the built-in SharePoint features that uh, are there to handle handle duplicates and actually taken a look at, in a bit more detail at what, what is really going on when SharePoint considers files to be duplicates or, or near duplicates and actually taken then a look at the, the issues that we're left with as a result of that. Hope very much this has been uh, useful and interesting for you. Um, so there's some blog uh, articles on our website as linked below that may, may prove interesting as well. Thank you for listening. Thanks for watching this video. Why not check out some more great how-to videos or subscribe to our YouTube channel for new videos as they're released.